Good day, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to talk about the effects of the fall, the fall of man. What became of man once Adam fell and sin came into the old world. Man became, as the scripture tells us in Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 2, man was now separated from his maker. Man has now become depraved in nature. Ephesians 2 verse 1 through 3. Man has now become ignorant and blind to the things of God and is now paying attention to the things of the world. Ephesians 4 and verse 18. Man has become evil in the conscience. Hebrew 10 and verse 22. Bible tells us man is corrupt and deceitful in heart. Jeremiah 17, 9. Uh, St. Mark 7, 19 through 21. Man has become obstinate and rebellious. Acts 7, verse 51. Romans 8, 7. Isaiah 28 and 14. Man has no evil thoughts. Genesis 6 and verse 5. Man has no lustful and ungodly we have become. John 8, 44. Romans 7, 5 through 21. First Corinthians 6, 9 and Galatians 5, 19. We are now paying attention to the flesh. Man is now dominated by Satan. St. John 8, 34 and verse 44. Man have become servants of sin. St. John 8, 34 and Romans 1, 18 through 32. Romans 6, 16 through 23. Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 1 through 9 that man is now dead in sin doomed to eternal hell without God or hope. Ephesians 2.12, Romans 6, verse 3, Psalm 9.17, St. Matthew 25.46, Revelation 14, 9 through 11, Revelation 20, 11 through 15. Man has now become short, fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23, because now, all have sinned. Then man becomes subject to suffering, to death, to pain. Genesis 3, 17 through 19 and Romans 8, 21 through 23. The curse of God has now come upon the land and man has to work hard. He has to labor he has to toil for a living. Genesis 3, 11 through 24. Man has now become mortal, imperfect, and weak. And Job tells us about that in Job 4, verse 17 through verse 21. Psalm 39, verse 4 and 5. Psalm 103, verse 14 and 15. And St. Matthew 6, verse 27. Galatians 6 and verse 3. Universally, man is sinful. Romans 3, verse 9 through 23. So we have now become sinners by birth and by our practice. Romans 5, 12 through 21. And Ephesians 2, 1, 2, 3, and Psalm 51 and verse 5. And we will come back to that in the scriptures. We have now become children of the devil. And the things that he bids us to do, we will do. St. John 8, 44, 1 John 3, verse 8 through 10. 1 John 5, 19. And St. Matthew 13, verse 38. We have now become subjects to sickness, disease, pain, and all the present evils of this earth. 
Exodus 5, verse 26, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68, St. John 10 and 10, Acts 10, verse 33, Revelation 21, and uh, verse 7, and Revelation 22, verse 3. We come to understand that our life has now become short-lived. And so the Bible compares the life that we now have to a pilgrimage, only but a short time. Genesis 47 and verse 9. We are compared to the short life that we have to live as water that is spilled on the ground. 2 Samuel 14, 14. Our life is now compared to wind. It is here today and then it is gone. Job 7 and verse 7. Job 7 and verse 9 says our life is like a passing cloud. Bible tells us uh, that our life, Job says, we are a like a shuttle. <laughs> we just move from point A to point B. Job again tells us in verse 14, verse 2, and Psalm 144 and verse 4, we are but like a shadow. A flower that fades away. Job 14, 2, Psalm 103, 15, Isaiah 40, verse 6 to 8, James 1, 10, 1 Peter 1, and verse 24. Bible tells us in Psalm 37, 2, Psalm 90, verse 5 and 6, that we are like grass. We are up today, and tomorrow we wither, and we fade away. Psalm 37, 2, like, um, like green herb, we wither. Psalm 39 and 5 says we are like nothing. We are like a dream. Psalm 73 and verse 20. We are like a sleep that is soon over. Psalm 9 and verse 5. We are like vanity. Psalm 144 and 4. A vapor, James says, in verse 4 and 14. So we see the effect of the fall how it takes place on man's life all because of sin but the Bible tells us that this will come to an end when we get to the new earth Revelation 21 verse 3 through 7 Revelation 22 4 and 5 so the brevity of life can be lengthened, the scripture tells us, uh, if we obey God and put our faith and trust in his son and what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross of Calvary. As we go back to Psalm 51 and verse 5, David says, Lord, I am no good. I was born in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me so he says i'm going back further even from the things that i do yes i am guilty of what i did but if i go back to my mother not to cast any shame upon her i am owning my own fault and my own guilt but he was saying, not only did he commit sin, but that he is sinful in his very nature. And the Bible tells us that this is the state of the sinner. Ephesians 2 and verse 2. He tells us how we are to walk. Because when we look at Ephesians 2, verse 1 to 3, what does it say? It says, And you are the quickened who were dead in your trespasses and sins, wherein in time past the walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the cheering of disobedience. 
He says, among whom also we all had our conversations in time past, in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So, Paul is here saying to us, this is who we are because of the fall. We walk according to the world's system. The evil that runs through the world like a stream. And we as sinners, we chase after it. Ephesians 2 and verse 2. According to the will of Satan, that's how we operate with various activities. The pra we practice the things of the world as organized and run by Satan and by men. And so we see all this, it is because of the effects that the fall has on man. We are even referred to as fallen man. We are referred to as mortals, imperfect and weak, all because of the fall. But that can be changed when we become new creatures in Christ. These old things will be passed away because of faith that we place in the Lord Jesus Christ and the redeeming work at Calvary. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share. And please visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with